so hi guys today we are going to solve another CACS problem where we are given this a uh, kind of maze and we need to find whether we can go from A to B or not and if we can go from A to B we need to find the shortest path that uh, take us from A to B so if it is a problem of just finding the shortest path length then we can easily do it using BFS but we also need to find the path from A to B like so for doing that we are going to apply BFS starting from A and we are also going to store the direction from where we are coming to that point like in this case we start from A and then we go to this point so this point is left of A we are going to store L and then we apply BFS to that and now we are going down so we are storing B and in this way we are going till this B and whenever we first encounter the B, we are going to stop our iteration there and drag our path back to A. So there can be two paths from for going from A to B. One of these, this one, and another one is uh, this one going from upside. First, we are applying BFS, so we are encounter. We will encounter B first from this path, and this node would be unvisited till the end. So let's look at the code how we are doing that we are first initializing our input levels and these are for storing the index of A and B and we have defined a very later function that will check whether we can go to that point or not that contains i greater than 0 j greater than 0 and this whole part is for checking whether we are inside that maze or not and if aij equal to dot that means that node is not visited so we can go there and after that we are first taking our input and we are storing the position of a and b in this start ij and end ij and after that we are making b as visitable so that we can store the direction from where we are first encountering b and now we are initializing our bfs using a queue that will contain a pair of int comma int and it will initialize to using this uh, i and j of position of a and then we are uh, defining a variable found that will be become true if we encounter b in our solution and if not it would be false till end and then we are going to print no in our answer so now we will loop until we find a solution or whether we can go out of range that, we, that means our queue would become empty. So this is the typical BFS method where we are going to pop the front uh, element of the queue and then we are going to uh, go to all of its neighbor if possible and storing its direction also whether we are going to down up right or left. and Finally, if we encounter B that is end I and end J, then we are uh, setting this found variable to true. So if we go to I plus 1 and J, we are going down. So that's why we are storing its direction as D. And similarly, we are going for all of the four direction. And now if the found variable is false until uh, the end, then we are going to print no because we have not found any solution that means we have not encountered b and if it is not then we have uh, we have found a solution now we need to track back our path so for tracking for storing path we are initializing in a string as empty and we are going to start from b to track back our path and now we are going to loop until we find a so for tracking back what we are doing we have already stored it the direction from where we are going from where we are coming we have u in the position of b that means we are coming from down so for tracking back the path we are going to do the same similar opposite thing that we have done here like we have incremented i for going down that means we are going to decrement i for going for tracking back our path and similarly we are going to do for all of the uh, up down right and left now we have found our answer but this answer is the reverse of the path from a to b so we are going to reverse this answer string so to get the path from a to b and finally we are printing our answer 
so this was the solution if you have any doubt this feel free to ask in the comment section thank you for watching next video